destruction of paintings is very interesting to me and almost crucial. Sometimes I find that what I've destroyed five years ago, I'll paint now as if when the thing first appears, you're not ready to accept it either, you know? There's some mysterious process at work here, which I don't even want to understand. I know that if I stopped painting and became a psychologist of the process of making, I would uh, probably understand it more, but it wouldn't do me any good. I don't want to understand it like that analytically. But I, I know that there's some working out that takes place in time, but it's not given to me to completely understand it. It's uh, illegal. The first thing always looks good, and then you start to doubting it, you know? Well, I started this painting a few days ago. It went all right. It was almost finished in, I don't know, a day. But I came in later that night, and, well, I liked the left part, didn't like the right part. So I started changing the right part. Something happened which felt better to me than the left part. So then I changed the left part, and before I knew it, the whole painting vanished. The painting that was almost finished here didn't look bad. It looked all right. But uh, it, it looked almost too good. It's as if I hadn't experienced anything with it. It was too much of a painting. I don't mean that I need to struggle always with it. I don't mean that exactly. But uh, it felt to me as if it were additions, this and that and that and that. Whereas what I'm always seeking is some great simplicity where the whole thing is just there and can't be this and that and that and that. <laughs> 